Mauritania, a country in North Africa, known for its rich cultural heritage and diverse landscapes. But hidden within its societal norms lies a controversial practice that has intrigued and shocked the world the phenomenon of obesity among women. In the vibrant markets of Mauritania, one cannot help but notice the prevailing beauty standards. Here, being overweight is not just accepted, but celebrated. In fact, it's considered a symbol of wealth, health, and beauty. For centuries, Mauritanian women have been subjected to a tradition known as la blow. This practice involves force-feeding young girls to achieve a larger body size, often from childhood into adolescence. From a young age, girls are taught that being overweight is a sign of beauty and prosperity. Mothers, grandmothers, and other female relatives play a crucial role in perpetuating this tradition, ensuring that their daughters conform to societal expectations. But behind the facade of cultural acceptance lies a darker reality. Many of these young girls suffer both physically and emotionally from the intense pressure to gain weight. Health complications such as diabetes, heart disease, and joint problems are common among obese women in Mauritania. Yet, the societal pressure to conform often outweighs concerns for their well-being. Despite growing international scrutiny and efforts to curb this practice, Leblo continues to persist in Mauritania, deeply entrenched in its cultural fabric. However, there is hope. A new generation of activists, both within Mauritania and around the world, are raising awareness about the harmful effects of Leblo and advocating for change. By challenging long-held beliefs and promoting body positivity, they strive to create a future where women are valued for their inner qualities rather than their outward appearance. As the sun sets over the vast expanse of Mauritania, the journey towards a more inclusive and accepting society continues. It's a journey marked by both challenges and triumphs, but one filled with hope for a better tomorrow.